Hi there, I'm Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. Encaustic literally means to burn in. So I paint with beeswax and a torch and because it's mixed media, pretty much anything else I can get my hands on. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Consider subscribing and joining this artsy community. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, which helps me get introduced to more like-minded artsy folks like yourself. This week's video is going to be a bit different. It's not going to be a painting video. Because, well, let me just show you. Here is the state of the studio. We just kind of threw everything in when we moved. So we've got the insulation, we've got the wall boards and the ceiling boards, a cutting mat, random cutting mat, random ironing board, <laughs> um, a piece of childhood rocking horse, and um, of course the library card catalogs, stepladder, you know, just a bunch of stuff. So obviously the studio still needs a lot to be done with and we are slowly working on it. But in the meantime, what I thought I would do, we've been down here in West Virginia for about a week. So what I thought I would do is show you the progress that is happening on the property and kind of maybe what a typical day in the life looks like around here because it's slightly different. There's no painting. So. Let me take you outside here and show you what's been happening. We are living and staying in our 19 foot camper. So a little bit of a change than from our normal large house, but we are both really enjoying it. And it is tucked in under this awning, which provides great shade. However, the first thing, one of the first projects we did was we ran an electric line to the camper so that we could plug it in and have some electricity in the camper. And then an electrician came out and installed an extra large panel and meter for a future use. Another modern convenience that we are so happy to have is water. Thank you so much to Cato Well Drilling for squeezing us in and getting us water. We no longer have to do this. Both the barn and the studio had quite a bit of stuff in it when we first bought the property that we actually want to keep. So we rented a storage unit and got it delivered to the property and we are slowly loading it up with all of that stuff. This way, when we are ready to pour the concrete in the barn, it is completely empty. When we're ready to put water into it, it is all emptied out and ready to go, which hopefully will be very soon. And now that container is quite full. One of the last modern conveniences that we wanted to put in was of course, septic. We have water, so we need septic. First though, they had some grading to do. The septic tanks are going back behind our pole barn area, soon to be living quarters. But at any rate, they had a lot of grading to do first. And then it was on to the digging. And I give these guys a ton of credit. It was hot, it was humid, it was muggy the days they were working out here and they did an excellent job. I can't say enough about Joe and Blue Ridge Environmental LLC septic. Also, we have plastic tanks back there and that is because it was too hard to get a crane in there. It's a really tight space. So they are also great for alternative septic systems like this and they really try to think outside the box and work with you. So again, the septic is almost up and running and they just left everything in a great condition, nice and level. And they were so nice and great to work with. Can't recommend them enough. So again, thank you guys very, very much. The septic will soon be up and running as soon as we get the electric for the pump hooked up in the barn. 
So now that you've seen what has been going on with the property and what a lot of other people have been doing, the contractors, and thank you to each and every single one of them. They have all been outstanding. Um, but I thought I would show you what my typical day looks like. So I'm gonna rewind the clock here and show you what a typical day looks like. Also, I hope this audio is okay. Let me know down there in the comments if it is. The birds are chirping. People are doing some work down the street, so um, hopefully it's not too bad. But let me know, and anyways, let's get back to what my day looks like. And just like that, we have a nice, neat, stacked pile of wood away from the buildings. We are also trying to keep the grass cut down, so I work on that in the mornings as well. There's quite a bit of grass here. And we're trying to keep it cut down because we've been warned against different kinds of snakes and critters that may hide in the grass. So I'm just trying to keep it nice, neat, and short. Time for a quick lunch break, and on today's menu is some turkey avocado wraps. Lunch lady. Cheers. Hey, guess what? That's a wrap. 
<laughs> Cheers. Thanks so very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video, even though there was no painting. We are hoping to get the shed slash studio up and running, hopefully soon. I have a lot of paintings to paint for an upcoming art show. So stay tuned for that. Uh, more painting videos will hopefully be coming soon. I'm guessing the next video, hopefully we're gonna be working on the studio. So. Hopefully you guys are interested in that and like that uh, content and follow along with that. And again, as always, thanks again for watching. If you did like the video, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button. It really does help me out. We'll see you next week. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.